we're starting off first of all with MSC Cruises. Now this is about board the Magnifica and where are we going? Oh my goodness, we are going to some incredible places and of course this is the Greek islands and it is Turkey and an unbelievable price on this and again beautiful beautiful ship. MSC, tell us a bit about yeah, the ship. Yeah, so they're basically an Italian cruise company. Um, it means MSC stands for Mediterranean Shipping Company and the largest privately owned, family owned operator, funnily enough, which oh, is wow. really rare in the industry. And if you think about Italy, you think about everything there that oh. it evokes. You think about Gucci, these big yes. brands, Ferrari, Ducati. Um, you think about the luxury, you think about style and sophistication. That's what you're getting in the cruise industry Wonderful. here. Uh, beautiful big ships with swarthy crystal staircases and lovely use of uh, beautiful materials like um, big open spaces, lots and lots of light being poured into these ships. Great facilities. And remember, the thing about cruising, such good value. So you're seeing the price on the screen, and that includes entertainment around the ship during the day, during the evening, looking after your, your, your children if you're there with a family. It also includes all your meals, a uh, chance to go and sit and enjoy and, and have a, a wonderful range of different cuisine. You'll be meeting people and making friends with people from around the world, because that's what cruising is. It's incredibly social. Whether you're a solo traveler, uh, like myself traveling on your own, whether you are a part of a couple, whether you're part of a family, cruising really ticks every single box. And you unpack once and you see all these magical destinations. And if you look at that there on the ship, look at these different venues, dancing the night away and then waking up to a Bloody Mary or a cocktail as you look <laughs> out on these amazing vistas, waking up somewhere different every day. I remember the first time I went on a ship, you just couldn't believe that it was a ship. There is so much on board and that is the wonderful thing you only unpack mm. that one time but you see so many amazing things and your time on board is incredible as well but where wonderful ship mm. looks beautiful i love that italian look to it as well Bit but of... where are we going okay so a great itinerary on this and that's what's important here the cruise so we're going to show you now on the map a few of the different destinations that we're heading off to uh, but we're flying out to venice Lovely. and um you're going to sail out of venice that, that alone that itself is, is, oh. is worth it you know because Never it's a magical chance that. to sail it past that Romantic city which is floating all around oh, you. Yes. And then your first port of call is going to be right on the heel of Italy. It's called Brindisi. Uh, and it's been known as the gateway to east, to the east for many, many years. Great nature reserves for you to explore. Generous suites of golden sand, woodland and lakes. A lovely little starter port. Uh, a nice kind of quiet, relaxed start Looks to the it. cruise. Then we're going to head on and we're going straight to Cataclon. So we've gone from Italy now straight away through to Greece. Cataclon is your gateway to the ancient Olympic Games. It's where the Olympic flame is lit in an Olympic year and it kind of heads out from here, all those wonderful runners carrying it on. Um, and this is your chance to go and see this birthplace. It's also your chance to head out to the local wineries and um, to see the old ancient olive press um, system that they have here. You've got great farms and it's beautiful. You can tear off chunks of fresh bread and get this olive oil which has been produced on site oh, for you think. as you look out again on this beautiful Greek I countryside. Bread and olive oil. Um, oh, mm. bread and olive oil. Delicious, isn't it? Good for you as well, apparently. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, okay, from there, from Cataclon, we're then moving on to your next port of call. We're now going, so this is your third country already because we're now going over to Turkey, Izmir. This is cradled between the mountains in the east and the south and the Aegean Sea to the west. It's Turkey's la third largest city and it's a great chance for you to head through um, to the amazing part of the world uh, known as the Roman city of Ephesus, one of the best preserved classical ruins you'll ever see with the Library of Celsius, you're seeing some amazing imagery. Again, photos don't do you it justice. Know. Beyond that, of course, you've got the beaches of Turkey on your front doorstep, and you've also got Izmir itself. Uh, you can go haggling uh, in the local bazaar, uh, maybe uh, kind of follow the footsteps of Alexander the Great, who actually set this city up wow. and tread in the ancient Agora, the old marketplace, which is over 2,000 years old. Magical destination. I love a bit of Turkey, love a bit of Turkish delight, and possibly a nice tasty kebab. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're then sticking with Turkey now, and we're heading into Istanbul, possibly my in my top three total destinations. Yes. You know my partner worked on ships for years, and like he would yourself, agree, and yes, he? absolutely. I mean, it's magical. The sailing alone, again, you must make sure you're out on deck an hour and a half before you arrive, because the sailing is stunning. And as you sail in, you're going to see such a collection of historic sites. You're going to see the Blue Mosque. You're going to see the Hagia Sophia, the first cathedral in, in Christendom. You're going to see the, the famous barracks where Florence Nightingale, the Lady of the Lamp, made her name. You're going to see the 
Topaki Palace, where the, uh, the Sultan had his harem of hundreds of these beautiful, exotic, wonderful people. Uh, I won't say women because it would be sexist. We don't know. <laughs> Could have been more than just women. And it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic destination. Once you actually dock in the Golden Horn, you've gone down uh, the Bosphorus, which splits the east and the west. This is a city which has two continents. It has Europe to the left and it has Asia to the right and bridges that give you into one continent to the other. Let alone going over the Thames, the Bosphorus is completely different. You can head out here and into the Grand Bazaar, over 400 different stalls. You can buy whatever you want there. It's incredible. I love the Roman aqueducts, um, which are just uh, wonderful, over 2,000 years old, and it's the way the old water system used to happen to the city. It's still pretty much intact. Okay. It's a beautiful, amazing chance uh, to have somewhere truly different. And again, that's the great thing about cruising. Remember, you're going to these exotic destinations which are so different from your every day. I mean, you're coming back to the safety and security and familiarity of a beautiful, safe, gorgeous environment. Okay, from Istanbul, you're then heading out to Dubrovnik, and you've got a, a wonderful chance here um, to enjoy this amazing walking city. Um, it's a real city for lovers of culture and history. It's a walled city, um, and you can walk the walls about 1.4 miles. I recommend you doing it. Probably take, took me about just over about an hour and 20 minutes because there's quite a few steps at different places. Right. I really recommend doing it because the views are incredible. Um, if you like Game of Thrones, some of King's Landing is filmed in this city. If you explore inside, it's kind of like Venice, except that the, the canals are cobbled streets. And right. it's full of beautiful little churches and squares, oh. and um, you know, you can sit you can sit it down. It's fabulous. Oh, it's amazing. It and if you want to head out from there, then Kavat is my recommendation. That's right. where Wallace Simpson and Edward VIII had their bit of a naughty honeymoon. Um, and again, you've got lots of romantic villages along the Dalmatian coast, as it's known. It's a beautiful destination. Okay, then you're back. Um, at sea, a relaxing day at sea to enjoy that ship, enjoy everything it has to offer so much, of course, you'll never be bored before you get back to Venice. And back to Venice, and then you fly home with BA flights as well included, and the most beautiful looking ship as well. I mean, it's an incredible price, £499 for all of that. You think about what, what you pay for a hotel just Absolutely. in the UK. Absolutely, I mean, that's £72 per person per night, and you would struggle, wouldn't you? Absolutely. To get, and, a, you know, to get a, a nice hotel. You really, really would. And, and you, you wouldn't get, your get dinner. everything. No, you, you don't wouldn't get dinner. entertainment. You'd be paying for all of that extra, which and, is amazing. And, you know, the service on a cruise ship, second to none. Service with a smile, people from yes. around the world who can't do enough for you. Go back in the evening. You know, you, they've done funny things with your towels. <laughs> I you know, love nice that. Chocolate on your I love pillow. that. I never want to spoil them. We like to collect them. We have like an animal farm. Now, have a look <laughs> at what's included. Now, uh, we were just saying you wouldn't get your food, you wouldn't get entertainment. We've actually got a drinks package. That's here. right. This is, again, additional. It's part of the price. Incredible. Under £500, £499. That drinks package uh, gives you a certain amount of draft beer, 14 draft beers, and then some mineral water, seven bottles of mineral water, or I think it's four bottles of wine, yes. and again, seven mineral water. So you're getting that on top of everything else. Um, a really cracking deal, and lots of dates available on this particular You've cruise as well. You've got lots and lots of dates. It is deposit only as well. I mean, we really have got some incredible deals throughout May to November there and look at the prices and good upgrades as well if you want to go to that ocean view or if you want to go for that balcony a beautiful cruise ship and again some really great different destinations and do note we have got a different phone number to normal you are getting directly in touch with Planet Cruise or you can jump on the website do jump onto the phones they are so helpful if you've got any queries if you're thinking, can I fly from here, please, mm. just ask on the phones. They'll make that cruise and spoke Particularly with MSC, if you're, if you're there watching, you've got a family, is that very often children under the age of 18 cruise for free with MSC. So do get in touch oh, wow. um, because there's, they can always look after you and do something for you. Be worth having a child. It would. It would be worth having a child. <laughs> well, <laughs> for that reason alone, yeah. <laughs>